This video is to show how to program the Thrustmaster T16000M joystick uh, using the target uh, programming tool that uh, you have to go to their website to download. Once you get the the uh, uh, once you go to their downlight uh, uh, site and download the drivers and the and the program, you open the program up and it will look like this. And you want to you won't have these. You'll have to add add a configuration, which it could just be um, just anything short. And uh, I always put it on advance. And you, you could put it. Uh, I it, this is in documents. And hit OK. And then when you come up, you'll see that this is connected to the computer. And you click on that and next this shows you what what this uh, that's side to side and this is front and back this this um, I'm going to show you how to uh, use use it so you can use it for world of tanks or world tank blitz but when you click on this it'll show you the curve when you're moving the joystick uh, for worlds of tank blitz and world tank, it this don't really mean too much because you're just you're just pushing a key with the joystick. So you can fool with it, but I found it didn't really do a whole lot for the application of the world of tanks. Uh, hit next, and then the next thing it, it, it's the list of keys and. Uh, We'll go to we'll go front and back first, forward and reverse. Okay, then you gotta put you gotta put a name. I put the uh, forward, and then we gotta get a key. And I got my key set up so this is the forward. But normally, uh, in the the way the game came comes it's W but I've done changed it to this already uh, on the game settings save key okay we see pause you don't want pause you want press and then you got to uh, you got to show how much you want now forward and reverse 50% is dead center so forward and reverse, I kind of, I kind of get it kind of close, because you tend to let off the joystick while you're playing, and the tank will stop on you. On forward, and then you add a, add a vent. Now you got to, um, every time you add a, a, a motion, you got to hit the, you got to do a release also. So forty five. So forward, and then you you hit release because if you don't do that, it will never release on you. So uh, uh, there's fifty five, and forty five. And that's your release for the forward button. Now we're going to do the reverse backwards. And you got to press the key again. This is not the way the game is set up. I, I already went into the game and set set it up. On Normally it's S. But... Downward, hit key. Now we got to go all the way down 100 and then this is 
they don't have to be precise. Uh, 55. And we want to hit press. Add an event. Now we got event. Now we got to put. We got to do the release because if you don't, it'll never release on you. So you hit release, and you come over here and see. There's your release. Add an event. Okay, we'll do another one. But we'll. I will do the. Um, we'll do a button this time. The the back and uh, left and right. The only thing about left and right is. Yeah, left and right. Uh, I don't put it that close because you tend to, when you move forward, you don't tend to keep it straight. So, uh, and, and you'll end up uh, trying to turn left when you're not wanting to. Uh, left. And then we do a left key. Oh, wait a minute, left key. And uh, press, but I bring this way default. Oh, wait a minute! I, I haven't changed. I haven't changed. Uh, it's X. There, see X. So I didn't change. Let's try it again. Left. And then we gotta hit the left key. Now, I don't put it all the way up to 45 because you tend to wonder when you're playing the game. So I I tend to put it like uh, uh, maybe 30. You can try 30. And and then press left key 30. And then uh, you got to do a release for that. Release. So 30 and then uh, get, it, get, it, get it to 30 or close as you can. And then we want 60. And that's release. Now we want to do right. right button press bring it over a hundred make sure everything's right and then we got to hit a release add an event okay and that's your up up forward and reverse and left and right now let's do a key I'll show you how to do a key. Uh, see, it, it shows you what that is. That's your fire key. Uh, we'll do fire key. Uh, I put... Uh, I, on World of Bliss, I make this my fire control. So if the tank catches on fire, I can hit the key. I'm using this joystick to steer. I'm still using my mouse to shoot and aim. Now, fire control, I got to set up in the game settings. It's never, always number six on every tank I got. So, you you, you, you do have to go in, into the game and find out these buttons. That, and you have to keep them all the same for each game. And then we got to hit press. And then we hit add event. And then you gotta hit, uh, you gotta release it because if you don't hit use release, then it'll never release on you. Now I tell you, I always put 200 milliseconds. Uh, it's set up for 50. I don't know if the game's fast enough to recognize 50, so I always put 200 and release. 
Okay, now we can uh, we can test it. Run run configuration. We can test it and see if we're doing any good. It's it's a uh, it's where it says zero. That mean that's good. That means there's nothing in conf in confliction. Okay, now what you can do? Like I'll hit the fire the trigger and see. Press and release. Press and release. That's the trigger. Now, see that's la that's left. I'm moving the joystick left. I'm moving the joystick right. Forward. And you you want to see press and release on everything you do. Because if it ain't, you have to go back and, and, and fix it. Everything should be press and release. You if, if it looks like this, then you're good to go to put it on the game. This is the way it's gonna look like on World of Tanks, cause there there's nothing in that game that, that starts these joysticks up. So you have to start this up. So uh, uh, let's let's hit uh, let's hit uh, finished. And yes, and see, you, you uh, open up the target uh, program, and then you you uh, press on the uh, on the file you just made, then you hit run. And then once it comes up and it says it's running, which it takes a little bit to get, see it's running, it's running now. Now once you do this, you can just hide it and then go open your game up. And then when you're done with the game, you have to come back and you hit stop profile after you're done with your game. Those games don't have anything for a joystick, but you're, you're setting your joystick up to press keys on your keyboard is, is what, what you're doing. And that's the way you uh, program a, a T1600M Thrustmaster for uh, World of Tanks or World Tank Blitz. Thanks. Bye.